Cameron. New terror concerns in London, the temporary end of immigration reform in America, and just what the heck are you people up to out there? Well, great to see you again. Hope you feel the same way. Lots of news topping the download today. Plus, I promise a little fun at the end, so just hang in there. Well, news first, and to London, where officials early Friday morning discovered a car filled with nails and gasoline smoldering outside a nightclub. The apparent bomb, smack in the center of London's Haymarket district, was safely defused by police. Still, the city jumpy at the news, coming just days before the Prince's concert for Diana, and on the first full day of Gordon Brown's prime ministership. We should allow the police to investigate this incident and then report to us. But this incident does recall the need for us to be vigilant at all times. Well, speaking of, forensics investigators now combing through the car and surveillance camera footage in the area for possible leads in the case. Well, to Africa now, where VOA News is reporting that officials in Ivory Coast say a rocket was fired at the plane carrying Prime Minister Guillaume Soro. Mr. Soro not harmed in the attack, but three people reported killed, several others injured. The Prime Minister now said to be in a safe location. Clearly, much more to be learned about both of these stories. Kerry Barber covering Ivory Coast for us, and VOA's Sonia Pace and Tom Rivers in London covering the ongoing investigations there. All their work and much more can be found at our home on the Internet, voanews.com. 3 fifths of the senators duly chosen and sworn not having voted in the affirmative the motion is not agreed to and thus died immigration reform in the US Senate a politically explosive issue president bush's proposed rewrite of immigration rules clearly not clearing the senate this week now becoming a major campaign issue in the presidential race. Well, that, combining with the Supreme Court ruling on race in schools, turned Thursday night's Democratic presidential candidates debate into something of a forum on race in America. And it is abundantly clear, especially today, that race and racism are defining challenges not only in the United States, but around the world. We have two public school systems in America, one for the wealthy, one for everybody else. We have two health care systems in America. And we know that race plays an enormous role in the problems that African Americans face. As many have already mentioned, we live in a society that remains separated in terms of life opportunities for African Americans, for Latinos, uh, and the rest of the nation. Well, from politics to news of the weird and why now, this week bringing the world what it's been waiting for, the return of the Spice Girls, hooray. Hey, sort of both weird and why. Okay, well, enough of that to the just plain unusual now, and hey, much prettier to look at, don't you think? This is snow in South Africa, measurable snow at that. Snow not really news elsewhere, but it's been several decades since cities like Pretoria saw any of the white stuff. Uh, maybe several decades since locals could practice their snow building man construction too? Well, to paraphrase Joyce, the snow falls on us all, and clearly, we all know exactly what to do with it. It's my first time playing with snow. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. very cool. Yeah. When I was in Cape Town, we only used to see the snow in the mountains, but now... I wish you can snow more now often. Now. I snow. have it in my hands, this snow. We throw the people, <laughs> we do everything with the people you see, but you yeah. see. Quiet down, you young whippersnappers. Well, I guess if you can't snap your whip in a rare snowball fight, when can you? Well, feel free to send us your snowball-making tips, nice and tight, I'm told. We'll pass them on. Our address, right here at the bottom. We promise we'll write you back. Well, let's wrap today with a little look-see as to what all those busy hands have been up to on the Internet this week. Uh, specifically, our friend from last week, Dramatic Squirrel. <laughs> Okay, well, still some ha-has, but feeling a little flat in that saw-it-two-hours-ago kind of way. And so Dramatic Squirrel gave rise to Snidely Whiplash Squirrel. I thought they get that monocle thing to work. Well, it can't just rest, rest there, so let's bump up the evil a notch. Oh, yeah. There's more.
Look, we could go on and on. Clearly, someone out there is. But we'll wrap this week. Ha, fooled you. I'm Doug Bernard. See you again on Monday.